Hello again, everybody. It seems my little video I posted yesterday has caused quite a controversy with regard to the side reel day. Now, I think you can see this uh, screenshot here. This is from Wolfram Research, Eric Westine's World of Astronomy, the side reel day. The length of time which passes between a given fixed star in the sky crossing a given projected meridian a line of longitude. The side reel day is 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4.1 seconds, which is slightly shorter than the solar day because the Earth's orbital motion about the sun means the Earth has to rotate slightly more than one turn with respect to the fixed stars in order to reach the same Earth-Sun orientation. Now, remember my video yesterday was dealing with the orientation of the Earth to the Sun, and I showed that after six months, the Earth would be facing away from the Sun if it began the six-month period by facing toward the Sun. And we use New York as an example. Now, my gut feeling is that the side real day is uh, another one of the clever manipulations of the uh, scientists who rule the world. And so I, I prayed for a simple explanation to disprove the side real day. And I believe I have that. Let's just look at uh, a simple calculation dealing with the side real day. Now, 3 minutes 56 seconds is 236 seconds. And exactly one half of a year is 182.65 days. So if I multiply 236 seconds times 182.625, Days, that tells us how many seconds more the Earth would have rotated according to the scientists. And now uh, that's the number of seconds, 43,099.5. We divide that by 60 seconds per minute, divide it again by 60 minutes per hour, and lo and behold, we have 11.97208 hours. And of course, that's just about 12 hours. And indeed, New York would have turned all the way around again toward the sun so that after six months, it would be facing the sun, wouldn't it? Well, isn't this interesting? After another six months, it would do the same thing. So then it would appear back at the beginning of the spring equinox with uh, New York facing the sun again. But here's the catch. Remember, the side real day is shorter than the actual Earth day, the actual solar day, which means that the Earth turns a little bit more toward, back toward the sun each, each day, each 24-hour period. So, as I just showed you, after six months, it has turned 12 hours more toward the sun so that it's still facing the sun according to their calculation. And then after another six months, again, it's facing the sun again. Now, that was exactly 365 and a quarter days that I calculated doing that. But you know what just happened? We gained another day we would actually be seeing the sun for the 366th time in the year. So by their little fantasy of the side real day, after 360 so-called 365 Earth days, we actually have 366. So by them trying to manipulate time with the side real day, they've actually gained another day. So we would actually have 366 sunrises in a 365-day, 24-hour day period of time. And we don't. The side real day has just been disproven. 